well, this must be a haul video. <laughs> uh, there's a couple things from Amazon, just some kind of general things that are useful for LEGO fans. And then the rest of it's gonna be BrickLink, mostly train parts, uh, a few other things kind of added in there. Uh, some of this stuff took a little while to get here, so I'm glad to get all this opened up so I can start building and working on some projects. Well, let's get into it. All right, so I just wanna get this first one out of the way just because of its size. <laughs> Um, this is more of the bins that I use to store my Lego, um, as well as many other things, um, around the house, but I always order used ones. So they're basically returns. <laughs> um, so a lot of times they're just completely shattered. So let's see what we got. Um, looks like all the lids are in good shape. Um, these look fairly frosted. The first batch of these I ordered were pretty much clear and I loved it. You could see what's inside of them. Um, over time, I've ordered them. They, they're just a little bit frosted. These aren't too bad. Um, you know, so you can kind of see what's going on inside there. And these don't look shattered. Um, there should be six of these. Um, that looks good enough for me. Um, I'll take them upstairs. I'm just constantly running out of bins to store everything. <laughs> uh, so these will be very useful. Okay. And this is the other one from Amazon. Um, oh, this is not what I thought it was. <laughs> this is actually a project box. Um, and I'm going to create kind of a control panel uh, to control some Lego switch tracks. So I'm going to, you know, kind of do it electrically, like with a switches on here. Let me see. I'm going to take a wild guess out of these packages on the floor. This might be the switches. What is all this? Okay. Um, yes, this is the switches. A lot of extra stuff in here. <laughs> um, so yeah, just got some double pull, double throw uh, switches. These are on on switches, uh, which is exactly what I needed. And it's just a, a single toggle. Um, so I got five in there uh, and then some push buttons. So um, as an alternative to using Lego pull reverser switches and 4.5 volt touch sensors, um, this will be doing everything just straight up electrically. And I want to go into more detail of how I did it with the Lego because I do get questions about that. Uh, and it's a lot easier to show something <laughs> than to just respond to a comment. So very cool. All right, so let's get into the actual Lego. <laughs> of this Lego haul. Um, again, I have no idea what's what um, out of these packages. Some of these took quite a while to get here. Um, so this is from Brickheads. I've ordered from them before. Um, okay, so we got some more train bases and uh, the castle kind of turret pieces, I guess. That looks a little dusty, but we can always clean it up. These look great. Um, as long as they don't have the crazy scratches along the side. So that's good. Always running out of those. Uh, another train plate for like a switcher locomotive, something like that. Uh, that was probably the main reason I ordered from them um, to get some more train buffers. Um, they should all be without the snow plow kind of piece. I think there's tin there. Um, a decorative 9 volt side piece. Two buffers with snow plow. Uh, this is my first 9 volt RC motor. Um, so what I can do is use a regular 9 volt motor and it picks up the power from the tracks and then have a wire going to 
a second motor. I've kind of heard conflicting reports with these. <laughs> like some people swear by that use case of, of powering these from a 9-volt motor, and others say these motors are, are garbage. I, I don't, maybe I'm getting mixed up with something else. Um, or maybe it was just the RC control system that was bad. I'm not really sure. So that'll be fun to kind of play with. Um, I got some kind of themed pieces for doing themed builds. Um, really been enjoying that. Um, I don't know how much of that's going to be on the channel or not, or just kind of bonus videos. Because uh, most people subscribe for trains. It's no secret. <laughs> um, these pieces are getting pretty expensive. And I always liked these. And I have some of the, you know, two length um, panel pieces go along this side. I want to, I don't remember how much I paid for these, but it was kind of expensive, but I actually looked at other stores in the U S and I was like, well, this is pretty a uh, fair price for them. And I got this guy that's for one of my time twisters builds that was missing that. Um, I ordered some candy, just kidding. That came for free <laughs> in the order. Um, got some chain pieces. This is a orange trans clear chain piece. I thought that might be interesting for AquaZone or something like that. And these are just random kind of tiles. Uh, another compass piece. Whenever I see them, fairly cheap, I'll get them. An ATAT -AT walker on the on the screen. Oh, oh, oh my. Um, some letter pieces, a keyboard piece, and a cassette tape. <laughs> Why not? All right, let's see what we got in this one. Okay, so I'm building some more of my own train tanker wagons. I didn't think I was going to because they are a bit expensive, but when I built the first one, I kind of found a couple stores to go between, and I think I can do it at a fair price. Um, so I'm going to try to build four more <laughs> of the tanker wagons. So that's probably what a lot of these pieces are. Uh, this was from Wild Bricks, etc. I believe they're out of Georgia. Um... So I got some train wheels and a uh, set of buffers, and these are pieces for the my own train wagons, and then I got a couple more of these guys for the Time Cruisers builds. Uh, some more tires. I was I got confused about these. The Megacorp Magnetizer has 71 millimeter wheels, so these these aren't the super expensive ones. These these aren't too bad. They're 50 something millimeter. Uh, so I got some of those in black in case I want to build something cool. Um, these are more mountain train parts. We've got an energy crystal has been found. Uh, plates and more barrel pieces. Um, so that's it for that order. I think the rest of those wagons should be in the next one. Um, I'm not sure why I said next one because I have no idea which, which packages are which. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Okay, yeah, I know what this is. This is just a, a absolute ton of buffers. Um, I think it's 20 or 30 or something. Um, let's see, each of these have 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 30. 30 buffer pieces. <laughs> I'm just getting so sick of ordering these and I still have to borrow them from other train wagons in order to build anything new, even though I've got a steady influx of these. You see them every week. There's 10 more coming in or however many more. So hopefully this will last me a, a month or something. Um, this is the like castaway kind of, kind of dude. Um, it does not come with a Wilson beach ball, um, or shipwreck, uh, guy with the shaggy hair. I don't know. I throw it in. I've, been making it a point to see what many figures uh, stores have as, as they go through and order stuff. Okay, this should be the rest of the my own train stuff. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> So again, there was only one seller that I thought had a fair price for these. These are new, believe it or not. Um, you know, I thought about it later. Maybe I could have tried to build a couple in like black or something. That really would have been more what you'd see on an American freight train. But um, 
you know, Octane has kind of historically been white. Um, so I got en enough of these to build four more wagons. Uh, enough of these for four more. Uh, two for each end. And then these are all the plates and random things I needed to get those built up. So I'm excited to, to build those. I'll have five total. And really, I'd, I'd like to have... Oh yeah, the, <laughs> there's the black hot dog pieces. So maybe I can uh, see how they look on the slugger dude instead of the uh, cut rigid tubing. We'll see. And okay. This is one I was worried about because it the tracking didn't update for like almost a week maybe not quite a week but i mean it just when it doesn't update update for several days i start getting worried and i have had some weird issues over the years so again yeah there's some octan worker torso so that's cool um they might need to wheel some things around so i got a couple of the uh this bag looks weird man um a couple of little hand truck pieces and I wanted to build a 9 volt layout and did not have enough curves. I couldn't believe it because <laughs> curves are usually what you have a surplus of and it's straights you need. Um, I want to say this is 29 pieces. It was a, a pretty fair deal by the end of it. Um, shipping really was kind of the most expensive part. This is a medium flat rate box. I think shipping was like $18 or something, which I'm pretty sure these are closer to 14 ish dollars. But, you know, some sellers tack on a dollar or two, whatever, for handling. Uh, by the end of it, it was fine. These were less than 50 cents each. Um, it was a pretty good deal by the end of it. So from here, we're going to go to a Mercari lot that I got in. Uh, I guess it was last week sometime. But those, those are weird because if you don't leave feedback within three days, it just automatically goes to positive And the seller has to wait to get paid until you leave feedback. Uh, so I had to film that as soon as it came in. But it's a great lot and a great deal uh, with a bunch of 9-volt train stuff. So let's jump over there and see what we got. Okay, so this is one I'm pretty excited about. This was a deal I got on Mercari. Uh, it's going to be 9-volt track and should be a couple motors too. Um, so let's see, we've got some packing stuff here. Okay, um, so there are our 9-volt track contacts. Um, of course, these look like they're all going to look most of, mostly, <laughs> um, you know, with the wires completely falling apart. Um, if you haven't seen it before, I have a tutorial for repairing those. We have a 9 volt speed regulator and uh, I hate how they get like so dirty up in these corners um, <laughs> I'm like constantly trying to clean them um, if they're gonna be like in a, in a thumbnail or something close up <laughs> um, yeah this is the official 12 volt AC transformer uh, it's even got a little Lego tag all mine have fallen off but uh, that was the original they sent and here we go two 9 volt motors and it looks like we've got some clip damage. That's not always an issue. Um, this has one clip. <laughs> um, so that's fairly normal. Um, that's one of the first things to go. If you're buying these, look for clips. Make sure this isn't damaged. Of course, if this is completely missing or, or damaged enough that it won't work, uh, you can put this in a switcher locomotive or something like that um, where it doesn't actually have to use that pin We have one on the side and two on this side. Uh, so that that's okay um, I will certainly find a use for these. Um, I will test them make sure they work, but uh, even if they didn't work I would strip out the motor and use these as power pickup bogies um, So, you know, these will go along the track and get the positive and negative from each side and output here to this 9 volt terminal there. So that could be very useful even if they were completely broken. And there's more of that priority shipping. Um, okay, so we got a couple switch tracks. It, what, is that a manual? What? Um, let's see here. So we got a left and right switch track. 
fairly clean. Um, it probably looks a little bit cleaner to you guys. Um, that works good. That works good. How cool is that? I don't think I uh, have one of these. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. Um, so, yeah, this is uh, very interesting. So, yeah, this is actually... I hadn't seen this, but this is spelled out um, that they do... When you're switching, you're switching the electrical contacts as well. It actually only switches one of the rails. One of the rails is always live. So if you have the switch set to the straight section, any trains over here will be stopped, vice versa. Um, and if the, the switches are out of alignment, one's one way, one's the other, they will both be powered. So I think that's where people misunderstand when I say that they that they do switch between them because um, a lot of people will just switch one of them because they know it'll it'll pass through here no problem without that actually being switched um, but since I use electrical solutions to switch them um, I generally switch both for that reason especially 9 volt and we've got some really cool um, track uh, setups here so I wonder I probably have the pieces to build a couple of these I might have to try that one day um, yeah, there's your don't make reversing loops. Don't make uh, whatever the heck that is um, <laughs> So that's really cool um, Somehow I don't think I've gotten anything like that so far um, this is Yeah, just kind of a uh, More of the same a little bit. Yeah, I don't have one of these It's interesting I have that train And uh, <laughs> yeah, and then this is all the stuff we had in that other one. That's really cool. Um, I hadn't, I hadn't actually seen those. I'm pretty sure these are just kind of standard curved and straights. Okay, so it looks like this is um. This is all straight in here. That's a great, great deal. Wow. This is a, <laughs> this deal's getting better all the time. Uh, here we got some bunch of curves in here. So I think I paid about 120 for all this uh, shipped or it was something close to that. It had been up for a day or two. They were already getting offers from other people and it showed the previous largest offer and um, I wasn't even much higher than them. I was just kind of like, I don't really need this, but man, that's a good deal if I can get it cheap enough. And let me count these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. That might be 14 if I miscounted. Let's say it's 14. That's $70 worth of straight track. Uh, those are easily $5 each, depending on where you go. These are 50 bucks each. <laughs> of course, these these might have sold for a little bit less, um, you know, missing the clips and things like that. And if, if they do have any issues running, that'll be an issue. Uh, don't forget the curved tracks, which those are uh, going to be much, much cheaper. Those are extremely common. Um, we got the switch tracks in. <laughs> and, and even these go for like $20. Um, incredible deal. Um, I'm glad I jumped on that. So let that be a lesson. Always keep checking you know people tell me i never find good deals and i've literally sent them a deal five minutes later like hey check this out and get this and they're like yeah okay <laughs> um it takes perseverance you need to be checking pretty much every day even if it's just once a day flip through mercari ebay even bricklink look for people running sales in their store uh, you can find some really great deals okay so the last package finally came in um literally like I, this now is about the time I would uh, put this member, this video to members only. <laughs> uh, but this just came in. Um, so I got another set for the Technic uh, Space Shuttle and then the alternate build is a submarine. Um, so I thought I would have uh, two sets of these. I'm pretty sure I have another one of these somewhere uh, in case I want to do both builds or if the you know stickers are different. I'm not really sure how the stickers worked on that one. Um, this was just kind of a random. Oh, no, no, no. This is for uh, 8888 8880 <laughs> uh, Supercar, which I do have this set. Uh, so if I wanted to use new stickers, um, I'd like to go through that set and maybe replace some of the yellowed parts. And uh, I've got new stickers if I decided to do that. And then again, I've got four sets of these guys. 
Um, so I think this is the final version. So I just got a load of these uh, from Bricklink. I actually didn't film that. Um, I've been getting some small Bricklink orders of just some printed tiles, some goofy little things. And for whatever reason, I didn't feel like putting it in a video. Um, I don't know. It's getting, it's getting crazy. I just had a lot of stuff coming in. Um, and then, of course, that is the sticker that comes with these sticker sheets. And then, again, I've got a lot of extra stickers if I want to use those elsewhere. So I'm very excited about that. Um, there's all of them. <laughs> there's the other four. So i got to throw all these stickers on there. But I'm excited to get some, some builds up. I feel like I've got enough rolling stock now. I want to build some kind of industrial mocks around. Um, you know, I don't have a permanent layout, but things I can put on the shelf and just take down whenever I do build a layout and have a an octan facility, uh, maybe a sawmill, maybe a, a container yard or, uh, you know, shipping facility, like those kind of things. I think that'd be a lot of fun. So like I mentioned, I, I, I never say this, but I do have uh, memberships live if you want to help support the channel and get to see some videos early and that kind of thing. Uh, if you want to talk about Lego trains and uh, what kind of things you're building or want to send something my way or you should join the discord um it's a great group of, of lego fans mostly trains is the primary conversation piece but uh you know we'll, we'll generally talk about anything lego <laughs> so that's it appreciate you guys thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one